Okay. So this month's record of the month is James Sullivan with UFO. I hadn't heard of the album, but it's really good. It's like a 60s psychedelic folk rock album, which I, I like that genre. So I, it's good music, but he went missing in the 70s in New Mexico, alien capital of the world. And he made an album called UFO. And he probably got abducted by aliens. Or he didn't. But it's fun to think the other way. Although, yeah, he's kind of missing, so it's not like something we should be like happy about because he kind of like basically died. So, anyway, it's a. Uh, So, kind of a collab, I guess. You guys see my address? I sure hope you didn't. I'm just gonna like blot that out really quick. Dang it! Oh, you can see that. Um, Okay, uh, if any of you come to my house and stuff to steal my records or burn my sap tree, then... Dang it, what does this country come to? Oh! beautiful for spacious skies for amber waves of grain for purple mountains majesty above thy fruited plain America America God shed thy light on thee and blow oh, I forgot okay anyway after our patriotism break, let's look at the record. Ooh, has an alternate cover. The original was blue, now it's purple. This feels extra thick. I love this cover. It's like a, really, it looks like he's getting abducted by a UFO or something. He's like, oh my gosh. And he's like getting all warped up. It looks pretty epic. 180 gram coke bottle clear vinyl heavyweight gatefold tip on jacket exclusive 16 page expanded liner notes is that like expanded from the original or expanded from like something else I don't know. by ufo it's a really good album i really like it okay I guess I'll read this whole thing. No, I won't. Oh, why not? On March 28, 1975, the car of Americana Troubadour Jim Sullivan was found outside a was found abandoned 26 miles outside of Santa Rosa, New Mexico, a city less than 150 miles from Roswell, New Mexico. He was never seen or heard from again. But that's the least important part of the story, and that brings that brings us here into this moment. In 1969, Jim Sullivan went into the studio with the famed Wrecking Crew and a session musician, a session musicians played on record by basically every notable artist you can think of, to record UFO, a beguiling left-field country-fried singer-songwriter album about aliens, road, the road, and the life itself. That album, with its tripped-out kaleidoscopic cover and its undeniable tunes, would become a curio for a generation grappling with the overlap between rock, country, Americana, and points west. That curio was originally rescued by via Light in the Attic, and now here it is again 50 years from its original release date, making its way via mail transmission to your turntable, where its charms and unpredictable locality can reach into another half century. Jim Sullivan UFO, 2 ounces of cognac, 5.5 ounces of sesame syrup, quarter ounce of fennet bronca, fernet bronca, that's a lot of sesame seeds, jeez. Very sesame-y. Honestly, people will never stop coming for ways to get drunk. Am I right? <laughs> um, oh, wow, there's a lot of information. So we got, like, 
it's like a little like colored pencil. I don't know, I'm not an artist, so I, I don't know what that is. Um, by Chris Gambrill. From Bristol, Chris, from Bristol, Chris graduated from the University of West England, so he's British, in 2001 with a bachelor BA in Hans in illustration. Primarily a fashion illustrator, Chris, and it kind of looks like that, like that sketch. Chris has produced illustrations for Zara Spain and his work, for Zara Spain, and his work has been published in Paris. He did a lot of cool stuff. My reason for illustrating is to explore form. I was a stone sculptor, and this remains even when working in 2D. I feel I still feel a compulsion to carve the page. The designs of Comme des Garçons resonate for me. The sculptural forms are a constant source of inspiration. Italian artist Lorenzo Mattotti is probably my biggest influence. The composition and color of his work is breathtaking. His ma he manages to set up a tension of movement and vibration within an image. I'm ple I aim to please the eye, yet liberate and inspire the soul i have been my soul has been liberated and inspired by this picture <clears throat> now let's get to the part that matters <laughs> my only place essential is on the thing right there boop uh see the light in the attic because it's from that this is actually they've done light in the attic collabs before last record that i got coach and moon was also a light in the attic collab uh track list UFO, wait, no, never mind. That's the album. Uh, Jerome, plain as your eyes can see. Roll back the time. Whistle stop. Rosie, highways, UFO, so natural. Johnny Sandman. All music and lyrics by Jim Sullivan. Has all the uh, musicians. Wow, Alan Chad. Belief in me. That's important. Okay. Inside. I have a lonely picture of him walking the desert. It's like a promo image and it looks cool. Over here, we have a book. Jim Sullivan. It tells you his life story. And I'll read that later. It's really long and cool. Got some pictures. And stuff. And the lyrics, well that's cool. And gives all the information about the original. About the whole. I don't know. About the whole remastering process. Anyway. Finally. The part you've all been waiting for after this eight minute long unboxing. The vinyl. Ooh. Feels like old. It reminds me of the from Cars, the flow. And like Route 66. Looks like that. Color my wall. Ah! It's on my foot. It's invisible. Okay. That's cool. Very epic. Jim Sullivan. U U U F O. Vinyl unboxing. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the channel.